The one thing that you notice in a lot of people that have PCOS, not everyone but a lot, is that they are obese, right? So they are really, really big in size. And this obesity can actually even cause further complications. What's up, beautiful people? Welcome to another exciting episode of TTC Diaries with Dr. O. You already know. Mm -hmm. And today we're going to be talking about something very interesting because I always talk about only interesting topics. Yeah. Anyway, so we're talking about something that affects a lot of TTC moms, right? This is a very, very popular topic uh, of discussion among TTC moms. It's a very, very popular condition that affects a lot of TTC moms. And it's probably the reason why they're not able to conceive okay can anyone guess what this is oh yeah obviously so it's in the title already we're talking about pcos that's polycystic ovarian syndrome and how to deal with pcos so basically you might ask yourself like what is pcos like everybody knows pcos pcos but some people might not even have known like what the full meaning was right okay so today i'm going to be telling you everything you need to know about it right pcos is a hormonal disorder it normally affects women of reproductive age and these women might either have infrequent or irregular periods they might have like excess of the male hormone right that makes them have some physical characteristics which i'm going to talk about later in this video or their ovary so your ovary is the organ or the part of your body that produces eggs and remember the eggs is what is needed to fertilize the sperm and that's from an embryo which will be your baby right so your ovary right sometimes has some little little fluid filled um sacs on it so these are called follicles right and your ovary doesn't release egg the way it should be so there are some types during your cycle that your ovary might not release the egg right so those are what people with pcos go through for us to diagnose you with pcos you must meet two of these three criteria that i'm about to mention or that i already mentioned earlier is either you have irregular infrequent or prolonged periods so for example your periods don't come every month so for example instead of having say like around 12 in a year maybe you can have nine so you're having less periods or the space between your periods is so wide so like you have a 35 day cycle or something like that and even that cycle is not regular so they can be 35 days afterwards it can be 40 days and then to drop back to 32 you know it's never regular right and sometimes even when you have your period is prolonged so you're having heavy bleeding and the period is lasting for a long time longer than usual yours is lasting 10 days 11 days 12 days or even longer sometimes you're having bleeding like the whole month that kind of thing so that's one of the criteria for us to diagnose with pcos and that criteria will be if you have an excess of male hormones of course there are tests that we can um do to check this right but even before doing tests you already see some physical characteristics so people that have excess male hormones sometimes they have beards so a lot of facial hair and then they have they are very hairy so even on the, their skin you are seeing a lot of hair like more hair than than usual right sometimes they might even have like a deep voice right if they have a lot of new homes another criteria that they will have to meet is the part where i said that your ovaries have a lot of fluid field sacs on them so polycystic ovaries basically that's where the name polycystic ovaries came from so um to diagnose this obviously you might need to do a scan to check that your ovaries actually meet this criteria so the cause of this pcos is usually unknown for now the cause is not known right and it's usually diagnosed at the time when you just start your period right or it could also be diagnosed later in life but it's usually associated with weight gain so one thing that you notice in a lot of people that have pcos not everyone but a lot is that they are obese right so they are really really big in size and this obesity can actually even cause further complications in, with the PCOS that they are experiencing already. Now let's talk about some of the complications of PCOS because that's why we're talking about it on TTC Diaries. So one of the complications, the popular complication of PCOS is infertility. So infertility means that the person is not able to conceive, the person is not able to get pregnant, right? And why is this infertility happening? Remember I said that the ovaries are not producing eggs in the way they should. So that's one of the reasons why people with PCOS express infertility. Not to mention that you don't even have a regular cycle right so it's even difficult for you to like know when to conceive and all that another complication is that you might have 
so for those that eventually get pregnant because like i said infertility is one of the complications but it doesn't mean that everyone that has pcos will experience infertility some people do actually go ahead to get pregnant but when they get pregnant some of them might have something that we call gestational diabetes so diabetes is when your body finds it difficult to control your blood sugar levels right and when we say gestational diabetes that means you just started experiencing it in pregnancy not before pregnancy if you experience it before pregnancy or after pregnancy then that can either be type 1 or type 2 diabetes right and type 2 diabetes is another complication of pcos so you might not even be pregnant you might never have got pregnant and you just notice that you're having diabetes that's another complication of pcos another complication of pcos is abnormal uterine bleeding abnormal uterine bleeding is when you're like bleeding in between periods so let's say you just finish your period maybe one two three days later then you start bleeding again right that's unusual or even a week later when you're not supposed to still be having your period you start bleeding again or maybe your period is prolonged or very heavy usually heavy like i described before that's one of the complications of pcos so we can see that pcos can be a lot to deal with like if you are going through pcos it is a lot the good thing that is that there are solutions like there are ways around these things one of the um ways that you can help to deal with it is by trying to lose weight so if you belong to the category of people that have obesity along with pcos because you know that obesity makes this condition worse you might want to try to lose weight i know that losing weight is not easy it's easier said than done right and for some people they don't even have to do anything to even put on the weight just breathing and you have already added weight right so it can be difficult for those kind of people but don't give up just try to be consistent work on your diet eat less carbs be more physically active right climb the stairs instead of using the elevator walk instead of driving if you can and then do cardio exercises use the treadmill do jogging and swimming also helps aerobic also helps it will help you to lose weight and losing weight will help to improve the symptoms that you are having with pcos right and it can improve your chances of getting pregnant if fertility is one of your complications another thing that is available to people with pcos is hormonal treatment so they can give you uh, your doctor can give you like different types of combination oral contraceptive pills right to regulate your periods your monthly periods so they become regular at least and then they can also give you like progestin therapy that's another type of hormonal therapy that can help you if you have this condition another thing is if your problem is ovulation so remember i said sometimes your ovaries will not produce eggs or release eggs like they should so they can give you drugs that can help you to ovulate one of these one is a very popular clomiphene citrate it can help to induce ovulation so that you are able to produce eggs and then when you meet with your partner the prayer is that the egg should be fertilized so that you can have your baby right so if you have pcos you don't have to feel discouraged you don't have to feel dismayed it's not the end of the world because there are solutions okay there are things that we can do to help you help you have a baby and help you deal with whatever symptoms that you are facing if you enjoyed watching this video so far please don't forget to click the like button subscribe and share with someone you think might need to see this especially any ttc moms around you because they need all the encouragement that they can get at this time always remember you're not alone on this journey to motherhood keep your eyes on the prize and your baby will be here sooner than you think see you next week